The Cooper Carbine is the best assault rifle in all of Warzone. It has one of the fastest times to kill, but most importantly, very little recoil, meaning you've got to be able to beam your enemies from really far away. Hi, I'm Billy Croc. I'm a top 5% Warzone player with over a 2KD in Season 5 of Warzone, and I make short and informative guides for Warzone to give you the best competitive edge possible. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Cooper Carbine, and whilst every other decent assault rifle around it has been nerfed into the ground, this gun hasn't been touched and is now the number one assault rifle in all of Warzone. What makes this gun so good is its fast time to kill, low recoil and its very high rate of fire, allowing you to miss more than a couple of shots without impacting your overall time to kill that much. And just for comparison, the Cooper Carbine shoots its bullets around a 50% faster rate than the STG. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into the beginner's attachments. However, if you already have this gun partially or fully leveled up, then skip to the mid or fully leveled attachments in the timeline or chapters below. So jumping straight into the beginner level attachments. Looking at the muzzle, we are going for the G28 compensator for additional vertical recoil control and flinch resistance. And then over to the barrel, we are taking the 22 inch Cooper Custom for increased recoil control, faster rate of fire, reduced scope sway and gun bob, and then increased damage range as well. And then over to the optic, we are taking the monocular reflector. But to be honest, if you've got something better unlocked in the beginner levels, then just use it. It's kind of a bit of a placeholder this one. And then over to the stock, we are taking the Cooper 45 RS for increased initial firing recoil control, aim down sight speed and recoil recovery. And yes, this does impact your accuracy and recoil during sustained fire. But to be honest with the Cooper Carbine, it's actually really good on this gun. So you don't really need to be focusing on that area too, too much. And then over to the underbarrel, take the Mark 6 Skeletal for increased aim down sight speed and movement speed. And then over to the magazine, we're not going to be taking anything here as the first option just reduces your recoil coil control, rate of fire, aim down sight speed and movement speed and then overall it just increases your time to kill making it take longer to kill your enemies. And for the ammunition type, we are taking FMJ rounds for increased bullet penetration. And then for the rear grip, we're gonna be taking hatched. This is gonna give you extra recoil control and flinch resistance. And then for perk one, we're gonna be taking tight grip for increased accuracy and recoil control during sustained fire. And then over to perk two, we're gonna be taking on hand for increased equipment dexterity and improved aim down sight speed. You can see the full build on the screen now and over to the mid-level attachments. For the muzzle, we are gonna be taking the MX Silencer for increased horizontal and vertical recoil control, improved damage range and sound suppression, meaning when you shoot, you're not gonna be pinging up on the enemy's mini-map. And then for the barrel, take the 22-inch Cooper Custom again. Again, this is really gonna increase your recoil control by quite a lot, improve your rate of fire as well. Damage range is gonna also be extended, which are all extremely useful on an assault rifle. And then for the optic, take the G16 two and a half time zoom, for more accuracy at longer ranges because it's going to give you that extra zoom in and then improve recoil control as well. And then for the stock, we're taking the Cooper 45 RS again for initial firing recoil control, aim down sight speed and recoil recovery. And then for the underbarrel, we are taking the M1930 Strife Angled for horizontal recoil control as horizontal recoil is the hardest to control whereas vertical is quite easy in comparison. And then for the magazine, take the 9mm 60 round drums. The prior two attachments just aren't any good so don't bother taking them. This is going to give you better recoil control, a faster rate of fire, better aim down sight speed, and a much larger magazine size, just allowing you to kill more enemies. And plus this gun burns through ammo pretty quickly. So the large magazine is definitely a must have. And then for the ammunition, we're taking lengthened for the better bullet velocity, as this is the only area that the gun really struggles in. And then for the rear grip, we are taking the polymer grip for increased flinch resistance and improved accuracy and recoil control during sustained fire. And then moving over to perk one, take tight grip for improved accuracy and recoil control during sustained fire and the perk 2 takes surplus to give you extra weapon xp it's about 20 percent extra just to allow you to level up this weapon a little bit faster as on hand isn't really that necessary on this gun it's more of a nice to have you can see the full build on the screen now and lastly, let's move on to the fully leveled attachments for the gun. For the muzzle, take the MX Silencer for improved recoil control and better damage range, all whilst keeping you off the minimap. And then for the barrel, again, we're taking the 22 inch custom, but improved accuracy, better rate of fire and increased damage range. And then for the optic, take the G16 two and a half time zoom for improved magnification, just meaning you're gonna be able to kill your enemies at longer ranges and then better recoil control as well. And then for the stock, take the Cooper 45 RS for initial firing recoil control 
control, better aim down sight speed, and recoil recovery. And moving over to the underbarrel, take the M1941 handstop for increased recoil control. And then moving over to the underbarrel, take the M1941 handstop for increased recoil control without giving you any real negatives. And then onto the magazine, take the 9mm 60 round drums for a better recoil control, faster rate of fire, better aim down sight speeds, and a much larger magazine size. Again, this gun has a really high rate of fire, so you're going to burn through that magazine pretty quickly on the smaller magazines. This is really a must have. And then over to the ammunition type, take compressed rounds, as this is going to give you a faster rate of fire yet again, just overall making your shots a lot easier to hit. And then onto the rear grip, take pine tar grip for better recoil control and the added hip fire accuracy as well. And then onto perk one, take tight grip for accuracy and recoil control during sustained fire. And then over to perk two, take fully loaded for max starting ammo. However, if you are taking this as a ghost loadout or something like that, then maybe take on hand for the better ADS speed. You can see the full build on the screen now. However, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button to see more no nonsense guides. And if you want to see the top 29 tips for becoming a better Warzone player, then click on the video on screen now.